Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video on exporting out Navisworks uh, images. It, mostly I'm going to cover the Camtasia portion. And if I come up here or, um, oh shoot, the animations button, we can do an export animation. And I'm going to exit out of this, show you real quick. I've already created one. So if I do an export, say current animation scene viewport jpeg i like to change this to 10 what is it uh 1920 by 1080 change the fps to uh i think 20 is fine uh for this particular model anti analysing doesn't matter too much. That is pretty good. Generally, I would set it to like an eight or something. It, it's all dependent on really uh, the visuals of, of your model, kind of just playing with it. But usually, if you have like fences and weird stuff like that, where it has it's it's difficult for it to kind of see it, and when it moves, it looks like a blur. You can mess with some of that stuff. So, like most know, a lot of this stuff isn't too good. The JPEG's the best option, and I'm going to render just with the viewport and I'll press OK. Oh, let's do current animation. Uh, shoot. I'm going to come up here and pick the animation, moving walls, export, and then let me hurry up and update this 1920 by 1080. 20 FPS, no eh, JPEGs, viewports, okay. So I've created an animation folder, but and I've already exported it out, but for this example, uh, I'll just kind of do an entirely new one. And we'll just call this one three underscore animations. And, oh, that's not. All right, so save. You can see it's running through that pretty quickly. And I'll, I'll open up the Navisworks folder where these animations are being dumped to. So we can see all those are there. We'll scroll down and kind of take a look and see if everything is playing correctly. It is. So before I open this, I want to open up Camtasia. You can see I've already made a video. This was with a recording, but with the images, what's cool is we can actually come into the options panel and I mean the edits and then come down here to preferences we can come to timing and we can change the timing for images that we import into this so this was kind of giving me a headache is when I brought and maybe there's a better workflow and please you know leave a comment if there is but it was giving me a headache because every time I brought the images in they would come in and then I would place them down here and at the bottom and when I placed them, it would give them a five second duration. And then when I would grab all of them and then grab one to shrink it, it would shrink them and then separate them from each other, you know, between that five seconds, putting them kind of in the middle. So then you have all these kind of empty spaces from, you know, to each image. And, you know, the video is like 20 minutes, though it's only like 30 seconds or whatever. But if you can come in here, you can change your preferences and timing. You can select your images and I just I put a 0 0.1 you know of a second and then press OK I'm gonna delete this delete that I'll import some media and I'll go into the 3 one just so that we can keep consistent I can grab all of it press open and then you know it loads all the images and again maybe this is something that I'm missing you know it's 
uh, I don't know how to grab this everything I mean, you can do a, a window box from what it seems like and I think you can press control a yeah so those are your two options there's not like a button or a right click to do that so maybe there is I, I don't know so control a and then I like to just grab the top one and then we move it down here track one and then we'll place it and then let's move it over I'm gonna click out of it then I'm gonna check the the duration of it okay it's point one and we can see that also the duration is right here so if we just hover over it, it gives us those quick properties play through it seems like it plays you know decent it may need to you know the duration may need to kind of get a little bit s smaller so that um, it plays a little bit quicker but it it does the video pretty well so then what I do is I'll just oops come up here to share and then I usually create a local file in an mp4 1080 So I really do hope this helps for anybody using using Navisworks and Camtasia. It was really annoying to me trying to get it in there and actually getting the video, but it seems like if you set up your preferences and then you know um, use the Control A button, you know you can really make it easy. And then this selection box thing, you can use to select a whole bunch of image, images at once. And again, Control A. So hope this helps. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.